Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this to do class in the last video we have added this save file function. We talked about how to write the test cases using callback using promises and using async await. And this is our to do's dot csv right whenever we are doing npm run test. We are able to let's do npm run test and we are executing the test cases and all are passing and this is the to do's content right. CSV content and this is our test case for this which we have written the last test case right we are comparing the expected content with the content of the file but I mean writing this test case is fine but we can write it we way more clean or we can do it I think we can move this write file functionality related test cases to somewhere else so let's create another file file dot test dot js and just paste the whole section and remove the async uh, the file related test cases from here because we wanted to use hooks before each after each and every time whenever we are executing the new test we should also be deleting or unlinking this file so our test cases may be should be more foolproof right so let's just remove this first describe section second describe section and we may not need this outer block okay now this is our test case plain and simple so how we can use the existing hooks which are provided by uh, a mocha right what we can do is this describe it save file happy path what we want to do is whenever uh, we start a test case we should always be able to put something already in a file or put something already in a to do to do's array right so we can use before each for that these are like hooks before executing any particular test case before executing any particular it block I wanted to execute something so I can put that here what I can do is uh, this dot to do's let's say let to do's here we can say let to do and this to do is equal to uh, the new to do this is our class and I will do is to do dot add save a file okay and this is before each now after each in the after each hook what I want to do is I want to unlink a file whatever the file we are using to save on the file content so what I can do is fs dot exist sync if this file exists which is to do's dot csv then I will do fs dot unlink sync and I will pass the same file name to do's dot csv this will keep our each and every iteration independent because we have written these two blocks uh, let me just close all these yes so we have written before each and after each now while writing uh, the test cases we are using the same to do object here here save to a file let's say save to a file to do without error let's say remove this whole content later so we have already have a to do object right so what i will do is to do dot save file and this is already a sync function so i will do await i will all this is already a sync function await save file now what we will do is we will just check that this particular file exists so fs sorry uh, expect expect uh, fs dot exist to do's 
dot two dot equals fs dot file exist exist sync equal to true that means file exist and then we can write the content so we have already added this content right in the to do object so we can just check what is the content available so content will be save to save a file this is the content and false so we can read this file we can compare the content so this can be one test case right now another test case is let's say uh, you are writing another content or writing a multiple to do's so you can create another so that was for single to do's you can write multiple to do's and all even you can check for let's say without error here we are writing another to do let's say i'm completing this right before doing that i can do to do dot complete there is a function it's not coming so this to do is an object of this to do's and there is a complete function which i can get from this it's complete function okay i thought it's completed okay to do dot complete and i will just pass the title okay save a file this is the title which i want to mark complete the same title now the only difference here is is it will become true and this is what we wanted to test now if, if you are writing this to a file again to do dot save file now the completed should become true so the the expected file content should be different than the earlier one right so let's see if we are able to pass these test cases or it's a surprise for us you can also decide to execute a particular section using describe dot only so i'm executing only this file execution block i mean save file functionality only to passing right everything is cool so yes that's it so we are able to execute the test case different scenarios and every time whenever you are writing or reading we are actually getting a different files okay and every time it is doing unlink that means it is removing the file so you are not even getting the file that means whenever you are writing it is creating the file and then deleting the file that means now each and every test cases are independent whatever the content you have written from the first test case is totally independent of what you are writing in the second test case right so these things are necessary when you are writing a uh, to a database table you need to always drop the table and seed the table again before starting the the new test case similarly we are writing to a file so we need to make sure the file is deleted we are creating a new file writing it and all these things so these are asynchronous test cases i hope now the basic mocha chai pairing now you have understood so now we will move forward and you will see all the other assertion libraries